It is bad because the NHS doesn't have enough funding to pay for education for everyone, and in fact it doesn't supply enough funding. So without the support of industry, and without a partnership with industry, these courses won't have developed. I'm Alfred Cutler, I'm a consultant gynaecologist at University College London Hospitals. Um, I was appointed in 1997 and I've been involved in education for quite a long time. I'm past president of the British Society for Gynaecological Endoscopy and the past chair of the British Society of Urogynaecology. I was involved in writing the training programs to be used for advanced laparoscopic surgery, both for urogynaecology and for endometriosis in particular. They use the Cadaver Training Lab in Newcastle, which is another institution, and they've used the Anatomy Laboratory at St George's Hospital. So they pick the best units and the best places that can offer different levels of education, and then they take it one stage further. Not only do they bring people into theatre, depending on the needs of the trainee, so different people will go to different hospitals, and then they get trainers to go into the hospitals of the trainees to help them develop further. So they are looking around the country for the correct trainers and the correct trainees and bring them together on very much a one-to-one, -one, a two-to-one, or in a very small group. So it's a lot of investment and these people are educating, being educated to develop further and then as time moves on, they will become the next educators. Different institutions will have different strengths. For instance, at UCH, we have a very good education centre and they utilise our education centre with our simulation in the laboratory, which is not an Olympus product. So they are educating people on products that are not their own. They're training with their small groups, their high level of faculty compared to delegates, their one-to-one -one training in different hospitals allows people to develop and this will enhance the outcome of patients as they develop further. The NHS has limited infrastructure and limited money spent. So, for instance, at UCH, they, together with charity money, a very good education centre was developed. However, there's limited money to allow people just to come in and be trained. Trainees have limited study leave budgets as well. Mm -hmm. So the support and the education, both financially and in manpower, has been very useful and very important in allowing people to develop and allowing them to have the opportunity to develop themselves, which in turn leads to better patient outcomes.